Somebody, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Bow garden in a club. Where the Yo, welcome back everybody, it's me, Z, and I'm back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Yo, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a secret location where some gold bars are stashed, also a gold nugget, and some other valuables as well. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and like this video, guys. Subscribe if you are new, and click on the bell to get notified when I drop dope videos like this one right here. Also, guys, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know if you uh, appreciate these videos that I'm putting out. I told you we're going to get back into this thing and I'm going to be uploading videos for you guys left and right for this game right here. So let me know if there's anything specific that you've been looking for or you want to know about this game and I'll see what I can do to make it happen. All right. Without that being said, right here, we're looking for these trash, uh, these crash train cars. And there's going to be a lot of loot right here in this section. Now, this uh, train drove off the railroad tracks off the bridge and crashed. Um, and it is right here outside Katora Springs right here where the, the little X is on the map. Okay, now also in this general location is a little shack as well uh, that has a nugget inside of it as well as a couple other things that you can pick up while you're out here in this location. So it's right by Granite Pass and Katora Springs. This is the section that we're looking for. All right, so since it's dark, I'm just gonna go ahead and camp and I'm gonna wait till it's daylight so I can show you guys around and show you what you're looking for. Um, also, do not try to do this when it is raining because you will be doing some climbing on the mountains and when it's raining, you will can slip off and die pretty easy. So I do recommend daylight and dry weather to do this. All right, so it's daylight now, so we're just gonna head on back over to our location where the train wreck is. All right, so my camp put me a little far away. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where this shack is that has the gold nugget. And like I said, it is right next to the area where the gold bars are. So you wanna go ahead and grab that while you're out here. Now it is gonna be in this cabin right here and I'm gonna show you where this is on the map. Uh, if you just come in and go ahead and do your eagle eye up and it's gonna show you everything in the cabin. Uh, we'll be flashing, makes it a lot easier to find stuff. All right, so there's some canned salmon in here. Uh, some a couple other things and like I said there is a gold nugget in here as well so you want to go ahead and collect that it's right here on this table right here so you guys let me know man if you guys are liking this game or what you like about this game I think that the game is pretty awesome I think Rockstar did a good job with it I can't wait for online to come out um, you know as well because we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff uh, with that when that comes out all right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right here on the map where this uh, little shack is. Like I said, it is just right in the area of the gold bars that we were hunting for. All right, so as you guys can see right here where I have my marker, right below Katora Springs. Uh, railroad track is where the, the crash train is. And just right below it right here, right below Widow Rock, is the shack that has the gold nugget. All right, so it doesn't matter, you know, which one you get first. So if, if you got that, just head on over to the train yard. And we're going to go ahead and search the loot. I'm going to show you guys exactly where the loot is and how to get to the secret gold bars. All right, when you come up to it, this yellow train right here that's upside down uh, does have um, a search box inside of it. And there's a couple of things in this box. There's a jewelry bag. Um, I do know that there's uh, some other stuff in here, a coin purse and maybe a billfold. Uh, one of them I couldn't take though because I was full already. So uh, right here, there's a billfold. All right, there's a coin sack. And there's a large jewelry bag in there as well. All right, so once you get that, there's nothing else in the rest of the trains except for this one train 
up here on the hill that you have to figure out how to get inside guys but don't worry i'm going to show you exactly how to get in there so if you didn't know there's two gold bars hitting inside of this train uh bar right here that is tipped up okay and there's only one way to get in it and that is from above now to get there all you want to do is head back down the path right at the bottom of the hill and go left and go up the mountain all right so you're going to go up the mountain here now i'm going to go ahead and give you a sneak peek uh from my goggles uh, not my goggles my binoculars uh to show you guys the path on the side of the mountain that you're looking for all right as you can see right here that's the side of the mountain and this is the path that you're going to be getting on okay so like i said just head up the trail on the side of the mountain and you're going to come up to the train tracks like this here so just go on through so you're going to be coming up that little path right here up under these train tracks so when you come up through here you're going to go left and get on top of the hill all right once you get up on top of this hill you want to go to the left and if you're going down a little ways right down this hill Nope, this ain't the spot. You gotta go over right here by the tree. All right. So once you get by this tree right here, you're gonna slide down this little, uh, there's a little path right here that you can go down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be careful and you're gonna go, go down. Now I would make sure that I have my health um, and stamina fully up because, and also save your game before you come out on this ledge, okay? Because you might die. I did fall off of here once. And like I said, don't do it when it's raining because it's slippery, see? But anyways, I fell down right here, but you want to come down to this part anyways. So whether you fall down or slide down, you want to get down here. Once you get down here, just continue the path along the side of the mountain. And, you know, it would start raining as I was up here. So that, you know, that's never good. Like I said, you want to do this when it's dry. All right, so when you come around, you want to jump up and stay on the ledge. Just go ahead and take it real easy, real slow right through here, crouching. Stay on the edge. Uh, like when it's raining, man, it's slippery, and you can slide right off here really easy. All right, so now we're going to have to make a jump. Right here, we're going to have to jump over there, so you're going to have to back up. And you want to jump across there, just hit square, or whatever the button is for you to jump. And uh, hopefully you make it. <laughs> I barely made it. Jeez. Alright, so once you make that jump right there, you want to come on around. Alright, so as you can see, this is the end of the road. So there's only one place to go from here, and that is down. Okay, guys. So I wouldn't recommend going down from there. Just come back a little bit and go down right here. You're gonna need a little bit of help to do this one, guys. But like I said, let me know if you guys already have found these gold bars yet, or if you didn't know that these gold bars were here. Because uh, these gold bars by themselves, that's a thousand dollars. That's a pretty good bit of money right there, like I said. So you wanna run and jump into that train cart, just like I did right there. And there you go. So as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff in here, including some Valerian root. And uh, you turn around, there's two gold bars right there on the floor that you can take. They sell for $500 a piece, guys. Uh, it's a pretty good bit of money here. And, um, you know, it's pretty easy to find this as well. But that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to help you guys out, make it a lot easier for you to find all these loot stashes and all these secret treasure maps and these money glitches. All right, there we go. So we got us some gold bars. We got the gold nugget from the little shack right down the street, pl plus all the other little jewelry that was laying around in the other train car. So that's a pretty good, successful haul right there, guys. All right, and now, you know, just get out of there. You just have to climb out. All right, man, uh, but that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video or if this video helped you, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Also, subscribe if you guys are new. And click on the notification to get notified for when I do drop videos like this one. 
Yeah, hit me up in the comments below too. Let me know if there's something in particular that you, 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 you're looking for or anything that I can help you out with in this game. I'll do my best. All right, guys. So, yeah, like I said, don't forget to hit that little shack right there below uh, Window Rock uh, to get the little gold nugget that is inside of that shack. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this one, man. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Till the next video, I'm your boy, and I'm out of here. Peace.